Hey guys, what is up here? This is Khan, aka Someone Special, and I got a special treat for you guys today. This is my first ever MOAB, Mother of All Bombs, gameplay video on World War 3. Now, for those of you that don't know, a MOAB or a MOAB is 25 kills without dying, or 24 kills if you have hard mind. Since I'm using specialist here, it's going to be only 24 kills. So, let's get this started. As you can see, got my specialist class going here. Rocking the MP7 and MP9 combo. I call my masterpiece class because it's probably the two weapons I'm the most consistently uh, very well shooting with. And this is going to be about the time when I actually do get the specialist bonus, so all my perks are going to be on. One of the big things that I've done differently with this class compared to a lot of my other ones is the fact that I do have blind eye on. Um, I usually do not have blind eye on during my classes, and I've noticed I am a predator missile magnet, as my friends would like to say. So once I put the blind eye on for this class, I've... Never really been killed by any kill streaks, period. So once I've done that, I've been getting a little bit closer to a Moab, and this is actually going to be my first one. So this is really exciting for me. I hope it is uh, somewhat good footage here for you guys uh, interested in Call of Duty and wanting to get a Moab. Now I'm not going to explain probably too much about um, strategies here. I'm just going to List off a few things that I kind of do to kind of help me get my kill streak a little bit higher. But for a majority of this gameplay here, I am going to be camping. It is. <laughs> I don't know if it's even possible to get a Moab without camping. Yeah, uh, I bet it would. It's possible, but it's it's extremely difficult for sure. I personally, when I play Oasis, I play somewhat near this hotel here where I'm shooting. Um, it does give you a lot of close calls like it does right there. That's the one big downside to it. So if, you're, if your uh, allies are kind of pushing the opposite side, like we hold A right now and they're pushing C, uh, they're going to start spawning towards the middle, which is going to be the hotel. So you have to be checking the middle consistently like I am. So there's another one that spawned here. So what I usually like to do, especially if I'm holding this area alone like I am during this gameplay, is I like to put a uh, portable radar on one side like I do right there, the side that we do not have. And I like to kind of watch both sides, kind of try to get the enemy coming in towards the opposite side and have them just kind of walk in here. but. As you can see, it can sometimes get a little bit slow, like it is right now. This is uh, up one of the big problems I had during my Moab run. I couldn't find anyone. I was running out of ammo with my MP7, so I had to switch to my MP9. The MP9, though, I'm, I'm very good with the MP9. Um, it's, I, I, it's really just a ridiculous gun. It, it should be a, a default gun. Like It shouldn't be a secondary weapon. It should be only a primary weapon. It, it is that, that insane, this gun. Like, I, I've gotten so many long shots with this gun, and it, it's literally just as powerful as the MP7. Um, on my MP7, I usually put an extended magazine and... Um, what's it called? Rapid fire on it, so my gun will shoot a little bit faster, and I can unload a, a clip uh, without really fast without having to worry about reloading. That's that's the big thing. And it, it does save me a lot usually. So I, if you're going to be going for a Moab, uh, the MP7 is a fantastic weapon. It has very little recoil. The iron sight's very easy to use. And uh, putting extended mags and uh, rapid fire on it, it's, it's just ungodly. So... Still doing my thing here. I'm kind of camping around. I'm saying to myself, "Oh, this this might actually be the the game I finally do get my Moab." But the big problem is no one is coming to uh, come up here so I can kill them. And there's another really close call 
uh, because they're kind of spawning near the hotel. I got very lucky there. I'm, I'm not quite sure what that guy was doing, but maybe his controller died or something because uh, he, he really sucked. I, I'm not quite sure what to say about that. But once again, it, it starts getting a little bit slow here. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's, it's nearing somewhat the end of the game now. The game is like three fourths of the way done. And I seriously can't find it anywhere. So, this is a bit of a slower Moab in my opinion. Uh, my friend Johnny Dollar that I'm playing with in this game, he's he's a lot better than me. He usually gets like a Moab at least a few times during each prestige. So I've been wanting to get one for a while now. I get a little bit lucky here. Completely run out of ammo, so now I'm stuck using my ammo. Yeah, this this. This team I'm playing against is absolute garbage. This is one of our first matches of the day, too, that we were playing. So now I'm kind of stuck with my MP9 for a little bit here. Um, about right now, too, uh, Johnny Dar is in the same room with me. We're playing on the same screen, playing split screen. He kind of looks over at me and goes, Mark, you're going to get that Moab. You, you really got to start pushing them because you're not going to have enough time at this rate. So... I'm just like, okay, let's, let's see if uh, a few more can start hanging towards me a little bit more, and then if not, I'm going to have to start pushing them. So I end up getting one really long shot right there. I got so lucky I didn't die. Um, and then this is the part where I'm just like, ah, fuck it, I'm going to have to rush them. So I see a guy there, I'm just like, damn it, I need to pop back out. I, I must be only one or two away. I, I, w I thought for sure right here I was one away. I killed that guy. Nope. Still no Moab. Is there a guy over here? No. Come over here. Oh my gosh, there's a guy. Oh, there's the Moab. Oh my gosh. And it was just fantastic in uh, my first Moab. Um, my friend said I was uh, completely uh, having like a Moab attack, I guess is a good way to put it. I was just like, oh my god, I got a Moab. And I was just freaking out. But uh, the one bad thing about it was that the Moab didn't get to fully go off. It did the countdown, and it it technically did go off because the timer did reach zero, but the explosion didn't get to happen. But that's really it for me, guys. Uh, hope you guys liked the video, and I'll plan on uploading some more soon. So thanks for watching.